Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola G7 Power, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So obviously the device in front of me is locked for this purpose. And to get started, you want to number one connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, well, everything is in English at the moment. And once you do, as you can see, I am connected right here. You want to go back to then to the first page right over here, and change a language to other language that uses a uh, different kind of keyboard so uh, completely different alphabet like for instance Russian uh, Greek and uh, those will work uh, go. and from there we're gonna again go back to the verification page uh, stop here to sign in differently and tap on the field right there and you'll see the keyboard pops up and then here you also have a new option with the globe so that's the language select you want to hold that and it will bring up the greek right here and other greek alphabet and then you have the qwerty so the, first of all select qwerty then hold it again and select the language selection right here the last option and from here tap on the bottom right over here and select any option with an arrow so those are different kind of languages uh, and different alpha or the ones with the arrow just have more keyboards so let's tap on the first one with arrow and here tap on three dots and go to help and feedback which is the second option and in help and feedback in the search bar you want to search for morse code so typing mo seems to uh, already pop up with the suggested use morse code tap on that Tap on the video right here and we'll reload it, giving you the option right here with the three dots for watch later with the clock icon. And this will bring up your web browser. So here, let's just accept and continue. And we don't want to log in, so tap on the left side and then tap on the search bar on the top and then navigate to how do we set that info. And here, tap on the three bars and go to the download category. Tap on the search bar for downloads and you want to search for uh, Apex Launcher. And there we go. Scroll down, tap on the download. Scroll down once more. And this time you actually want to hold this just to prevent any kind of problem. So when you hold this, it will give you this window of options. Tap on the second option, which is the open incognito. Uh, let's accept this. Uh, allow access to storage. Now every option that allows something and agrees, it's located on the right. So keep that in mind. Now here we want to save. So again, right side, OK. And tap on open, which is the the highlighted text that was there and now before we can actually install it we will need to allow chrome to be able to install uh, apps basically so again on the right let's accept this check this box right here and then go back and tap on install which is again on the right side once it's installed you want to open it up which again is on the right side and this will open up the apex launcher and now we're going to change the language back to english so Tap on the app drawer right here in the middle and go to settings, which is right here, the gear icon. And scroll all the way down to information right here, the system info, the last option, and then choose the second one with the globe. And at the top, you will have languages. Uh, it's also the icon of like, uh, I guess, uh, Chinese alphabet and just a normal alphabet tap on it then tap on the plus and find English and you can see that now we have two different languages so you want to drag English over the Greek and you can see that it automatically changes the language of the entire system so from here let's go back to right here and open up browser again no thanks tap back and scroll up and you'll have the download uh, field so again remove this 
and now search for Android 8. Like so. And let's scroll down and same thing. Download, go down and hold this and open it incognito. There we go, incognito tab. Okay, and open it up. And from here, install. And open. So from here, we should be now in the app that we have downloaded and installed. So you wanna tap on Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0. And once more, settings, check this on, go back and install. And once this is done installing, you'll just simply tap on done. And now we're gonna tap on bypass FRP browser sign in and from here tap on the three dots on the top and again choose browser sign in and okay from here log in with your google account and that you for instance already have if you don't have any kind of google account you can always create one it's free to do so you don't have to worry uh, I just advise you to do it on your computer and then just simply log in once you finish creating it on your phone. So I already have one, that, that's what I'm going to use. And on S3 when you're actually going to go back, I'm going to select this and copy. We're gonna use this email address um, multiple times throughout, so it's just gonna simplify it if you copy it so you don't have to type in every time. I believe it's gonna be like five different times where we will need to use it. So just hold your finger, select all, and copy. And then we can go. Now I'm gonna put in a password for this, so let me do that off the screen. And then let's tap on login. And once it logs in, we're done with the app. So let's just go back to our web browser and then tap on the search bar right here. And we're gonna now type in, let me just bring it up. We're gonna go into, actually let's go back once more to go to normal one, there we go. Uh, so here, let's type in google.com slash android android slash find there we go so you can see right here uh, it's gonna be android slash find and in here you can see that we can we have to log in again so that's where the copied um, uh, email comes in play so hold your finger on here up and paste and next and now again put in your password and tap on next and let it log in let's close this and close this we don't want to save the password and close this and here you should see your device and also you have the refresh button so tap on the refresh at it should show you your battery presented right here as you can see right now if it does then we're all good then configure it uh, by tapping on the um, button right here the last one which is the phone with a gear icon as you can see right here tap on it and then you'll see that we have now phone with a lock icon so it's basically protection for your device let's select that and type in some kind of password. So we're gonna make one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's minimize the keyboard. And let's... Okay. And there we go. So you can see that we have set the pattern to be one, two, three, four, and now we lock the device. So. Let's unlock it. So from here, you want to tap on the last option, which let's just wait for this uh, note to disappear. There we go. 
So the last one is erasing your device and you can see that it's the uh, phone with an X on it as a icon. Tap on that and then erase your device. Now for me it's in Polish, for you it would probably be in your native language. Um, and again, email address, so let's paste. And now let's put the password in. Next. And you'll get this message. Permanently erase Motorola Moto G7 power, erase. And you get this message, your device has been erased. Now, right now it doesn't seem like anything is happening, but give it about 10 seconds and it will start uh, the reset of the device. There we go. Now this will take about a minute or two, but once it's finished, we will be then back in the Android setup screen with the device uh, basically being almost fully unlocked. The only thing we will need to do to unlock it is put the par uh, pin in, the one, two, three, four that we, at least I have set. And from there, once you do, the device will unlock. So see you once the erase has finished. And as you can see now the process is finished. So I'm gonna simply go to the quick setup here. Uh, now you can basically skip whatever you want almost uh, to the point, um, like connecting to Wi-Fi or well not connecting to Wi-Fi, but uh, adding your accounts uh, for Google. Once you confirm the pattern, that uh, you will get to just about in a second. And there we go, so verify pin. Now, if you recall, right at the beginning of the, the bypass, when I started the video, uh, the verification was actually pattern. And now it's pinned just because we have changed it in the Google uh, web page. So one, two, three, four, confirm, and boom, device is unlocked. So from here, you can add your Google account if you want to, you can completely skip this. Um, and like I said, the device is now unlocked and you can do whatever you want. So let's just, I'm gonna finish up the setup right here fairly quickly. I'm skipping majority of the things just so you can see me get to the home screen. And there we go. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification screen on the Motorola G7 Power. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.